Because I remember we met one sister um, and we taught her a little bit and then she had to leave for work and we we'd met her just on the street but she gave us her address um, or at least approximately where it was and I remember later um, I think it was the next day my companion and I went riding into her neighborhood and um, none of the houses had numbers <laughs> and so <laughs> we didn't really know how to find her and so we, we just rode around a while and I felt like it was kind of random and then my companion just stopped at a house and we called at the gate so we, we clapped and we called hello inside which is kind of what you do to greet people uh, and the lady came out and, and we asked if this particular sister if she knew this particular sister and she said yeah she lives here and, <laughs> and so we went in um, but then another experience we so we'd struggled to find anyone who was seriously interested in the church but then one evening I saw a sister walking to her house and we called out to her and we said wait um, and we gave her a little pamphlet that taught about the Restoration in the Book of Mormon. Uh, and we didn't have time for much more, but we arranged another appointment to come back the next evening. And we did, and she had read the entire pamphlet, and she read all the way up through half of Second Nephi. And she had practically memorized the Joseph Smith story. And it was just amazing, and she came to church the next week, and. Um, and then another sister, so the, this was, all these events were in the course of like a week. Um, we, we went, well we went up to our gate and we called hello inside and she, she kind of yelled out through her, her door, she said, who is it? We said, Elder Wilson and Elder Benson. And she said, I've been waiting for you. And she just opened the door and let us in. Uh, and we, we taught her about the restoration and she just cried. And, um, and then she also came to church that week. Um, and, and just that was kind of the beginning of the turning point in my mission. Just, just really applying the torment and I guess applying the gospel that I had been teaching the whole time.